Okay, so in this type of problems, whenever I see such an integrand, you observe that there is a 7th power of z here and this is the 8th power and we know that the derivative of z raised to 8 is 8 z raised to 7. So this is one of the big hints that will help us in solving this problem. Now, let me carry over to the next page. So I look at 1 over integral 2 pi i integration z raised to 7 5z raised to 8 plus 3 dz and this integration is over a unit circle. Now this reminds us of our standard argument principle. The argument principle says that whenever I have 1 over 2 pi i integral the derivative of the function let me write it f dash z upon fz dz over the curve gamma this is equal to number of zeros minus number of poles inside gamma okay now here when i in this problem when i take 1 over 2 pi i and i pull out this 5 so this will become 1 by 5 integral z raised to 7 z raised to 8 plus 3 by 5 dz and the derivative of z raised to 8 is 8 z raised to 7 so i'll multiply and divide by 8 also okay and now let's this looks like f dash and this looks like f and now we are going to look at this of uh, the this polynomial denominator so i'm writing number of zeros minus number of poles of the function f inside gamma so we are looking to look at z raised to 8 plus 3 by 5 inside this unit circle it's mod z equal to 1 if you look at z raised to 8 plus 3 by 5 equal to 0 you have to find the 8 roots of this particular polynomial in and you have to check where the roots are now these 8 roots I am going to show you geometrically so these are the roots of the equation z raised to 8 plus 3 by 5 is equal to 0 they are uh, actually lying on the circle x square plus y square equal to 0.938 where 0.938 is the value of 3 by 5 raised to 1 by 8 so these three these eight roots are actually lying inside the unit circle as you can see in the figure so now we will move ahead so here fz is equal to z raised to 8 plus 3 by 5 now this is a polynomial so the number of poles will be zero so this polynomial so this function has no poles so when i'm going to evaluate the integration the number of poles i'm going to write as zero now what are the roots we have already seen so how are we sure that all these roots are inside the unit circle so if alpha is the root this means uh, alpha is to 8 plus 3 by 5 will be certainly equal to 0 this means alpha is to 8 is equal to minus 3 by 5 when i take the magnitudes i will get mod of alpha is to 8 is equal to 3 by 5 which is less than 1 so this means that mod of alpha is certainly less than 1 so but alpha is any root of this polynomial and we got that this alpha has to be a complex number with magnitude less than 1 so here i'm pretty sure that all roots are inside the circle mod z equal to 1 so this means that the number of zeros that are inside the circle mod z equal to 1 mod this will be equal to how much this will be equal to 8 so i will use this in the integration now therefore when i write that integration in this format now i understand that this is nothing but 1 by 5 into 1 by 8 into 1 upon 2 pi i integration over the curve small circle mod z equal to 1 this is f prime this is f dz and this is equal to 1 by 5 into 1 by 8 1 over 2 pi i f prime upon f is 
number of zeros how many zeros we got inside the unit circle we got eight zeros and how many poles were there of the function f inside the unit circle there were no poles so this will become eight minus zero and therefore this finally the solution will become one by five so i'll repeat how we got this eight minus zero this is by argument principle this is nothing but number of zeros inside the curve minus number of poles inside the curve of the function f i hope now this problem is understood